I'm Brian. And this is Jason. And we're ghost hunters. Beautiful Gasparilla Island, a small treasure tucked away off the Gulf Coast of Florida. It's home to beautiful views, fantastic fishing, and friendly people. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Heimlichs. Indeed. <laughs> the quaint little town of Boca Grande is nestled in the center of the island. It holds many surprises for its privileged visitors. It's rich in history, shopping, fine dining, and of course, ice cream. But rumor has it that it is also home to other things darker things. Things that go bump in the night. To investigate these apparitional rumors, we headed to the local Chamber of Commerce to speak to island native Linda Lancaster about her experiences. So, about the ghosts on the island. The only one I've ever had contact with is Dora, and that's at Temptations Restaurant. Following up on this tip, we decided to immediately go to the Temptations restaurant to scope the location for ourselves. It was here that we were unexpectedly confronted with a first-hand experience from one of their waitstaff members. It was like the first week, I, first month I worked here, and it was during the day. You don't expect to see ghosts. I hadn't even heard of Dora yet, but I was setting up the dining room for lunch, and Annie was a bartender, and she knows all the history of the island, and she believes in it and everything. But she's back restocking the refrigerator in the back, and the wall over here, a picture jumped off the wall. And it landed and made such a noise we both came in to see what happened. And it was one of those glass frame pictures. The glass didn't break. It made the loudest noise we thought for sure something broke. You go over there, check out those pictures, take a picture of the picture, and you'll see that it was screwed into the wall with the wire. Yeah. So that added mystery to it too because it wasn't just hung on the wall. It's screwed in the wall. Hmm. Well, there was no visible evidence of it being unscrewed. Oh. And that's what... That makes it scary. That's, that's what made it kind of scary. The path to Dora came to a sudden halt as we were asked to vacate the premises by restaurant security for frightening lunchtime patrons. So, we continued our investigation of other rumors at the South End Lighthouse. We're here on location at the Boca Grande Lighthouse on Gasparilla Island. It is said that at night you can hear a young girl's violin playing coming from the second floor windows. This is the daughter of the Light Keeps family who died of dysentery and is the one who is said can be still heard playing her violin. Uh, we figured we'd come a little bit early and um, do some research, see what we can find out about the ghosts. Um, maybe uh, ask some locals, see if they know anything, um, so that when we come tonight, uh, we'll have a little bit of background knowledge. So I'm down here, and we're just observing the area, getting a EMP level and a sound level. So when we come back at night, we'll notice any supernatural activity. It's very important. This place? The lighthouse, yeah. There was apparently a, uh, a there daughter. Is, there is indeed that legend. There is? 
Do you yes. know it? I don't know how accurate it is, but there is. But you know, place. are you aware? I, of this? I didn't know this. You no, aren't aware of this. No, no. So with the rumors confirmed and the sun slowly setting over another perfect day in paradise, we get ready to hunt. Once again, we're the Spectre Sportsmen. The time has come. It is nearing midnight, and we are on our way to the Boca Grande Lighthouse on Gasparilla Island. Not gonna lie, the butterflies are swelling inside me a little bit. How about you, Jason? I'm a little bit nervous. This is a big hunt. This is one of the biggest hunts we've been on to date. And, uh, you know, I think we got the equipment, and I think we got the manpower, and I, I'm ready to get them, but yeah, you know, always a little nervous before a big hunt. Took an hour of prep time, and uh, I think a good, we, good dinner. Had a did. great breakfast. Yes. A great breakfast. I had Wheaties and orange juice, uh, banana, um, and I think I had some kiwi. I think I did. I think that's really going to put me over yeah. the edge tonight. I think uh, yeah, I got I, my vitamins and minerals, and I'll, I'm feeling I'm loose. I'm ready. I uh, I wish I could say the same, but um, I just had a granola bar. Uh, plan of attack. Uh, really, we're kind of going in blind. Um, well, you know, we got the EMM, the sweeper. Yep. Um, yep. That's packed. That's always going to get us some good hits. Yep. We like that's, to sweep the area. We do. It's the uh, electromagnetic modulator. Um, it's it, it has yet to fail me, so I have full confidence. Whenever you sweep, you get good stuff. And and I brought Spectre Vision. Um, yes. I, I fully expect to implore the uh, in Spectre Vision tonight. Um, it's uh, cold radiation. It sees all the cold radiation. Uh, ghosts like to manifest themselves by drawing energy in, and the Spectre Vision highlights through my eyes like goggles um, those cold spots so you know yeah. that's where it goes should be manifesting so we have that of course we have the digital audio uh, digital video recorders mm -hmm. both high-tech mm -hmm. and um, I think we're ready you know I think oh, yeah. we're well equipped we're well trained yes um, especially well trained well trained you know and uh, and we're just cunning hunters yes this and is my 27th hunt so yeah, this is your 27th. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, 26. That was that was a that was a good one. It was. It was, it was great. One. Actually, 27. This is gonna be our best oh, it's, day. Oh, it's big. It's this promising. Is big, big it's time. promising. So yeah. that's that's that. Oh, I agree. Um, no, I'm 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 ready to go. I'm I'm ready to get down to business. This is this is big. This is the finals of the NCAA tournament. This is the Super Bowl of a hunt. This is as big as it's going to be. This is your rhino. Huge. Your male alpha lion. Manatee. This is, you know, the jackrabbit of... Porcupine. Yeah, porcupine. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the big one. Yeah. And this is the one that's going to cause us trouble. Uh, she's not going to want to come down easy. No. No. I, as a matter of fact, I think she'll put up a little bit of a fight. It could turn for the worse. It could. We need to watch our backs, is what I'm saying. Okay, so we're uh, now outside the lighthouse. Um, we're approaching the lighthouse, and Brian and I have gone over several tactical maneuvers, and we decided to go with the Hofmachel. Uh There are several versions of the Hofmachel. We're going to go with the flank Um It's, it's proven reliable, and um, Brian will fill you in on that more. Yeah, so the... Um the flank mako, it's actually, it's very straightforward. Um, what happens, we go in from the back. Um, if the ghosts are aware of our presence, they will most likely, um, I, I can say 98% of the time, they will flee um, from the front and they'll run in the opposite direction. But then we quickly shift our angle and hit them from the side and it works every time. Here's the... Uh EMM or electromagnetic modulator. Um, 
we just call it the sweeper for short. Um, it's a lot easier to say. Um, basically, you just sweep with it. Um, I also brought my rabbit's foot for good luck. Want to rub it? Kidding. This is the um, the boom mic. Uh, basically, what it does, it's it's so it's super sensitive. Um, basically, it just only records vibration, no sound. We don't we don't need sound here. We need vibration when it comes to ghost hunting. Um, so that's uh, that's basically it. Okay, so we're uh, now outside the lighthouse. Now we're approaching, and this is very important that we remain unsuspected. Yeah, it's extremely important to keep a low center of gravity when uh, searching for ghosts. I am. Uh, I'm gonna try sweeping here a little bit. Um, see what we can find. Getting anything? No, no, nothing yet. Nothing yet. All right, well we'll just keep searching. She's supposed to be down this way. Okay. So what do you? All right. Um. Actually, this is looking pretty good. Um, we got three green dots and two red, which means the frequencies in the area are um they're permeating. So, um, which is which is a good sign. Right. Okay. So. This is a tricky one, dude. Oh my god, it's over here. Follow me, follow me. Okay, follow me. Right, I'm going. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. I think we've got it cornered. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we need to start initiating the half Michael. Alright. Flank Michael. Flank Michael, half Michael. Flank Michael. Oh. Ready? Okay, so. Alright, I'm gonna ask a call and response right now. Let's see if we get a hit. Okay? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hold on. Let me get a view with the camera. Okay. Little girl? Little girl, are you there? Can you hear us? Oh my god, what was that? Did you hear that? Do it again. Call again, call again. Little girl. You want to play your violin? She's not taking the bait. No, she's not. Um, okay. We gotta, we gotta think on our toes here. I think it's time that we go to Spectre Vision. Spectre Vision is... I agree, it is. Um, Spectre Vision uh, is cold radiation. So, we're gonna find cold spots. And then we're gonna see if I can see these cold spots. Now this is serious, serious stuff. Okay, so I want to see if we can find these cold spots, and uh, and and hopefully I will. And uh, I think Spectre Vision will help big time. All right, so we're in Spectre Vision. Okay. Um, just tell me if you get get anything. All right, I'm looking for for light spots. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to K6 it a couple times. K6 sweep area. K6. Good job with K6. Sweep it. Sweep. All right, we're sweeping. Okay. Okay, it's getting hot over here. I'm getting I'm getting readings. All right, keep going this way. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Go. Okay. What do we got? All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, 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 stop. I'm, I'm, wait, wait. Getting reading? He's getting reading. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got all green lights. All, right. all green lights. All right, so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pop up and try to get her on the count of three. One, two, three. Little girl. I'm seeing cold spots. Cold spots upstairs in the window. Cold spot. Shine the light. Shine the light. Get that window. Hold See, on. Get that. I'm gonna get it with the K6 emitifier. I'm checking dino therms. Sweep the K6. Sweep the K6. I'm sweeping. Sweeping. I'm sweeping. Sweep the K6. I'm sweeping the K6. K6. K6 it. Okay. I got a reading. 28.2. 28.2. Dude, we've never got a 28.2. No. 28.2. 
28.2. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Let's go. Get down. Get down. That's a 30.2. That's a 30.2. We gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, 40 again. 36. 42. 46. Shh, wish. 47. Shh, 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 shh. Did you hear that? Oh my god. Did you hear that? Go. Go. I'm sweeping. I'm sweeping. What's that? What's that? Okay. Okay. Base. Base. We're safe. We're safe. She can't get us. So we're safe at the base. We're safe at base. Every ghost in that room. That was, that was close. That was way bigger of a hunt than I was ready for. I need a bigger breakfast. Although we were unsuccessful in capturing the sneaky specters on this quaint little island, we did learn some valuable lessons. Eat more kiwi before a hunt and respect the specters. We're visitors in their territory and therefore need to play by their rules. There's just one catch. The specter sportsmen play by their own rules. We will be back. Equipped with our unmatched skills and trusty EMM sweeper, we will be ready. And if you're a specter, we have one word for you. Pray.